Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel, where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be a spooky book review of the classic Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. So a little bit about the plot of Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan. So Laura and her father are living a secluded life up in Transylvania. And when a carriage accident brings them a stranded young lady named Carmilla, they take her into their home to make sure that she's healed before she can venture on her way again. However, when Carmilla starts acting really strange, volatile, and obsessive with Laura, things ensue from there. So my thoughts on Carmilla, Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan. This is the edited version by Carmen Maria. It was, it's first off, it's beautiful. It has these illustrations in it that as an ink artist, I have so much respect for. Like it's absolutely beautiful. There are really helpful like footnotes and it was, I like this edited copy because I've read the just straight up story and this really helped me understand it I think a little bit better. So first off, this was the first vampire book written, even before Dracula folks. And it actually inspired Dracula. It has an amazing atmosphere with the whole forest and ca castle in the forest and the seclusion. It really added to how lonely Laura was in the story. I think it kind of mirrored that, so I love that. I think he did a really good job. The gothic writing style. I love classic gothic, so this was right up my alley. If you're not into that kind of writing style, then you might want to try a different vampire story. But that would be a shame because this was written in the Victor Victorian era. So, this book was way ahead of its time, and let me tell you why. It really explored the sensuality that happens between women, and I feel like that mirrored the suppression that was against lesbianism in that era and time. So I thought that this book was creating an outlet for those women who felt oppressed, and it is a very sensual read. I loved it. I think it is so, their relationship is just so endearing and you can feel it. And Carmilla is alluring and attractive. She is the darkness to Laura's light and vice versa. It was a really, really good story. And I think if you like classic horror, you should really try this book, especially this edited edition you can't go wrong. I just love the fact that it had psychological aspects to it. And again, the sensuality was great. The ending inspired just so much in this trope. And I just feel like if you are all into the vampire horror, please read this. You'll not regret it. It is really good. Even if the gothic style of writing is hard to get through, it is so worth it. It inspired Dracula. And personally, I like Carmilla more. That all being said, I digress. <laughs> I am rating this five tails out of five, and it is highly recommended by Fox here. Again, five strong tails, out of five. I think it is a must read for all horror lovers, especially gothic horror lovers. Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan. Just amazing. Well, critters, that's all from this Sen of Frights tonight. Thank you so much for being here and watching. It means the whole wide and wild wilderness your support. Thank you so much, critters. And until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky.